YouTube fans here again and I figure why not why not as I talked about my mate being low James Jr may rest why not talk about this one this was a film that did win him an award that's one I talked about was Enemy Minds a film I felt he should have won an award this on the other hand won low James Jr an award we all remember the song on the blue when we go along on an old damn high and i won't do the rest because i've killed the song but yeah you might remember the song an old time high not an old time high that's the song of the uh but a very well known song who also won an award and another well known actor being richard day now, Richard Day was an actor who did a lot of theatre plays. He was the one who played Giso in Geese before John Defoe off. Richard Day originally played that character in the musical of Geese when originally it was an all time play. And um, he did make it big, but you all know his big break would have been in American Gigolo. After that, films come in rent, but it was only in 1982 he got the film that it. A big film, it was a big hit, being Ossifer and the Gentleman, and that's the one I'm referring So, you boss for the Gentleman, you get flashbacks of Richard Deere's character as a kid. You've got the idea that his father used to be a sailor, he's having it away with five Chinese prostitutes, and he gets battered. But he's walking along, these teenage Chinese lads watching old martial arts basically beat him up, they mug him and batter him. And then it's also a couple of days where he's growing up, but he's showing his dad that he wants to join the, um, remember right, the, the Naf not Naffa Data, the Marines. Come around one that, I think it could be the Marines, or it could actually be a Naffa Data. No, I'm thinking a top done. I'm on about, yeah, I think, I'm on positive it is the Marines. So he tries to join that, his father isn't happy about it, but to yeah, get over it. So... And then it, it's all in brown and white in those scenes. That segment is all in brown and white. But then when it gets the film, it's in colour. So he meets a mate on the way. Brings out a few films he's up to. You might remember him being the dad in Firestar. Brings out a lot of films. It was his mate. And I just love, love, low James Jr. The minute he comes in, he definitely is always the sergeant. There's some sort of words you wouldn't get away with now, unpredictable cadets, but I'm going to say it. They're going to offend people of a sex or other, they're going to offend people of a different race and so on. Different time, different era. So I'm only going to say it. So I'm going to offend YouTube, I'm going to offend someone of a different sex or other. It's a different era, a different time in this film. This film, you wouldn't get away with saying those words now, but it's a different era. And that's all I'm going to say. So I just love it. They're also so he comes in and he says that line, Are you a dear or a queer? Come out the word right, Are you a dear or a queer? You must be a queer. Stop eyeballing me, son. Stop, stop staring at me. <laughs> You're giving me an hard on. I just love the lines he says in it. And Richard Dears is killing himself laughing. The hospital comes up to him and says, What are you laughing at? Don't dip eyeball me. I'm going to rip your fucking eyes out. What that done there? Is that a pasta? He moves the pasta and Richard Deere is shitting himself because he knows there's a certain tattoo he's like to get boot out of the fucking armour. But he doesn't, he looks at him and he says, that's a really nice tattoo with wings. Well, enjoy that because that's the only wings you're leaving with. So I could be right at it, it could be a naffa day or I'm, I'm even not getting confused with I'm um, top done. And um, so basically the... Um, film goes on, they meet two girls on the way, well known actors, and the other one, blonde hair, tight pretty, been in a few films well after this, even before this, she played in a film called Dead and Buried, she played in another lot of film called Prince of Darkness, and I'm referring to that, she also played in Cut and Run, so she's in this, one of the very early roles, probably after um, Dead and Buried, and she's sort of like a slutty character, it's a mate, he's definitely does he's more of a slutty character and a bit of bonking in there, because done without it, I mean once you bonking, you know, what's fucking porn but at the end of the day, that's a story, there's a reason for it, isn't it, that's just so nudity and bonking um, and then it's, it starts off as a war film, it's more of a drama, 
more of a drama. So what happens is Richard Day gets caught, he sticks up for his mate who was doing something he shouldn't have been doing and he gets punished by the officer and he's really really laying into him, he's spraying water on him, he says why is it, why is it you want to join the marines, what is it, what is it? I've always wanted to be in a, a marine, my mama wants to be a marine, come on let's cut the shit here, come on, come on, you go out with your father, why are you doing all this shit, you go out with your father, you can... Get different girls every night of the week. Why do you have to want to kill yourself doing this shit? I want to, I want to. Well, you're out. D-O-L. Out. Don't you dare do that to me. I've got nowhere to go. I mean, I'm doing a few lines there. But I love it. I love it. So he keeps him on the office. So I think he sees that he really wants this. That isn't just a time race. Right? Richard D really wants to be what he wants to be. A Marine. It could be a Marine. My brain's getting fucked. I've got me all the way through the film and I first saw this Oscar in a tent coming. I actually thought that Lord James Jr. was a bully. I thought he was a bully, I thought he was an arsehole with Richard Day. But when I look at it now, I look at it in different eyes. He was just doing his job, he's being an officer, he's chaining everybody up. And yeah, there's a bit where maybe he does think he's a time waster, he's gonna be one of these that's gonna fuck around. It's like why am I bothering chaining someone isn't gonna he's gonna waste my time. As the film goes on, you can see he has respect in him. He's still doing his job. He's not doing him special preferences. He's an officer. He's doing his job. That's how I see it. I look at it in different eyes now. So, as the film goes on, one of the soldiers... Oh, it's all I Yeah, they do, um, they do, um, there's a scene where they're testing someone to drop underwater. We think we've seen this actor before, well-known actor. He's been in CSI. And the same year when he did this, you may remember him in First Blood. He's going to be the cop in it and they're going after Rambo and he says a lie. We're not hunting him, he's hunting us. And there's a bit where Spetsa Sarone gets hit and he says, Oh, the old shit, Teasel, what the fuck was that? Well, that's the same actor who's in this. So he's doing a testing scene with his aeroplane, he panics and the thing gets tangled and he's underwater and then he downs and the officer being James Jr. dives in, she's alive, saves his life. Then there's a bit where the actor's stressing out, he's Richard Deere's mate, he's getting stressed out in his gas room and he almost gets gassed. There's experiment they're doing. But then he leaves, he wants to go with the girl who he thinks loves him. And he doesn't realise all the way through the film, she's fucking using him. There's much love for him than the end of my ass. It's quite a sad scene because he, she told him that she doesn't want anything to do with him, she doesn't want to go out with a user and all this. It really shits on his emotions it makes you feel for the character and he commits suicide hangs himself naked which is quite sad Richard Day finds him really emotional scene but I do love the bit where he calls the door and F him the letter C so I don't get his shit and he really loves you and all this and he even says it to his door that when they go through the arm um, funeral that we don't want to be with her no more instead that she would do the same to him what her mate did but the best bit is bit where he takes on James Hughes Jr he says I'm leaving I'm quitting I'm sorry about your friend I'm leaving I don't need this shit anymore fuck this shit okay you want to fight what if you what you want so you got the idea Richard Day studied martial arts after the scenes when he got when it's also fast back stuff him when he got the shit kicked out of him as a kid he obviously studied martial arts so he's in this, like a boxing ring, does a few moves, he hits Lord James Jr. in the face, but ultimately he says, I see you've learnt a bit. You bit it good. And then they fight, and you think Mr. D is going to get the better of him, but then Lord James Jr. uses a dirty move, he uses his leg and kicks him, let's just say he kicks him in the pipe at part of the anatomy. So Richard Deere is lying down in pain. I do admit that was that a dirty move, but well, well survival of those. But I love the way when he gets up, he says, if you want to quit now, you can do. But he doesn't, he, he stays on. So they're all dressed up in beautiful white costumes, they're winning their awards. I love the way where the sergeant says, get the fuck out of here. But you get that, I got it, I got it straight away that he changed, he got what he wanted. We hear that line again, we said to somebody else, you a deer or a queer? The only things we're going here, they're deers and kids. I kind of love it. I love the bit, it's in the facts, they raised their friends, everyone knows the ending of Oscar and the Ten coming. 
he pitched the love of his life but he got that song how much when we go on with a melting high and a melting high i don't have done the rest of the lyrics right there end of movie beautiful ending and a beautiful done film and i'll say that again a damn good film it's a classic and you know what's so sad you know what's so heartbreaking you will never see films like this ever again i'm going to be open i've got to be honest just like top Dawn, just like other classic films you will never see a film like off in a ten coming ever again no i don't want to see a remake hollywood you remake every fucking thing going but you'll never see a film like this ever again i'll spend a ten coming good performance good story yes it's a love story yes it's a drama i wouldn't say a war film it's just a guy training to be a marine i mean i say marine it could be a knife it could be a navigator but whatever he's training to be a soldier he gets the love of his life you get that sloppy music at the end even though the music did win an award and i've got to admit it is a damn good song it's a classic and actually, Low James Jr. he deserved that award. He deserved that award. It was the making of another dud actor, being Richard Deer. It's a dud and into them. Be smart, be safe, fuck it. I'm going to be more generous. A 20 star rating, because it's a classic and you never see a film ever like this ever again. Be into them. See you later.